First and foremost, we'd like to thank the World Ferry Safety Association for inviting us on this virtual conference. My name is Engineer Ephraim de la Serna Jr. I'm the founder of Civersity, and together with me in developing this topic is Marianne Pastrana, the Executive Vice President of FastCat Ferries. We're going to be tackling training programs delivered in FastCat with emphasis on the adaptation of Industrial Revolution 4.0. Before we start, we'll just give you a brief overview and some updates. What we're currently looking at is a heat map of the maritime industry, which is considered as the backbone of global trade and economy. Based on the International Maritime Council and the International Chamber of Commerce Manpower Report of 2015, there are 1.6 million seafarers on international trade, 774,000 of them are officers, and 873,000 of them are ratings. There are five major maritime manpower in the world. These are China, Russia, Ukraine, Indonesia, and yours truly, the Philippines. Then, this happened. An outbreak that led to the decline, or even the halt of shipping calls, transports and ferries, and the cruise lines. As we are now working on this presentation, based on the World Health Organization, there are 1,211,214 cases of COVID-19. The Philippines gets its toll in the pandemic. As of the 6th of April, there are 3,660 cases in the country, causing lockdowns of highly affected areas. Because of this, FASCAT must find a solution. FASCAT has always faced challenges. When we surveyed 100 of our crew, a staggering 93% wishes to embark on international trade leaving the country for greener pastures. So we have to settle on the 7% and raise our hopes high and believe that we are also a pavement of their careers, hoping one day that they come back and join the fleet once again. Another thing is that the Philippines is a seafaring nation which produces a large number of officers and crew, and yet we don't have a training ship regulation. And lastly, due to its natural location in the Pacific Typhoon Belt, Cyclonic storms and flood have been the principal natural hazard in the Philippine seas. Facing these challenges, FASCAT's goal can only be materialized through riding the tides of thorough planning that roots chartered success. So we set our playbook. And so, we are modernizing, pooling, shifting dynamics, visible, and embrace the heart of innovation. Modernization in the sense that we have 16 internationally class roll-on and roll-off ferries. With the challenges faced in international versus domestic manning, we ensure that 400 of our officers and crew are trained continuously for rotational planning and advancement. With 300 shore-based personnel, a dynamic team who are continually striving for high quality and improvement of our fleet. By increasing our national visibility and presence, calling into 19 domestic ports, creating a vital link in the Philippines, and connecting the Philippine National Highway. And finally, our FastCats Innovation Program. A program of e-learning systems, electronic training record books, gamified training methodologies, virtual and augmented reality using immersive systems. Since its launch two years ago, we have already generated 5,012 accounts for our officers, crew, shore-based personnel, and cadetship programs. We have 1,564 simultaneous and concurrent registered users, generated 42 tailored fitted course with an 89% uptime availability and access. And still, we're continuously innovating. We're going mobile with online and offline due to internet connections and bandwidth restrictions. We even got a shot of 360 view for shipboard training and assessment through mobile use, a full overview of the ship in the palm of your hands. The shifts in technological adaptation is never easy. This curve represented by experience and time shows how we strive to promote innovations. On the first phases, our personnel does not even look at it but eventually, through company mandates, they see that it is fun. And yet, some people just say that it's, this is just too hard. Other people are keep doing it because they get the hang of it. Some just don't get it. Then the company has to do something about it. At the end of the day, our crew says that this really makes sense. And they're happy that they did it. Another thing that we really ventured on is electronic training record books and analytics. 
It is considered as the first Philippine monitoring dashboard for the maritime industry. We're piloting the system to comply with the Commission on Higher Education. Currently, we have 1,654 registered users from different schools. We are now at 86% based on the project schedule on the delivery of objectives. We are also venturing in the gamification of learning, an educational approach to motivate our cadets and crew to learn by using video game design and game elements in a learning environment. We even shifted our assessments from multiple choice to process switching, matching, numerics, and even drag and drop so students can really be familiar of the component because the learners of today are visual learners. But the most innovative approach that we really did is developing the virtual reality and augmented reality for the FastCat ferries. So I would like to show you a video on what is FastCat in a virtual world. So the virtual reality was created based on a scale-to-scale -scale drawing of the general arrangement of the basket fairy. So I'll, I'll show you one more thing, which is much more mobile. Nowadays, 80% of the crew and cadets own smartphones. Most of them are active smartphone users that use these gadgets to access social platforms and games. So we shifted it a little and we use it for learning, seeing objects that can be placed in the most common locations without the use of virtual reality headsets. So we did some research on the top benefits of virtual and augmented reality and we found out that trainees are becoming more excited and they're not bored. They determine their own pace, study and learn anytime and definitely lessons are easier to grasp rather than pen and paper. With all these innovations, our vision is really to contribute to nation building by being the industry leader and standard setter in the ferry transportation business. So once again, we would like to thank you for listening to this short presentation. But before we say goodbye, we would like to show you something, how we wrap up on our headings in the future. The vision is clear. A connected Philippines each island linked safely and efficiently despite the distance. FastCat's mission is to be the country's largest fleet of internationally classed catamaran roll-on roll-off cargo and passenger vessels. It aims to operate 60 vessels by 2030, reaching Filipinos in the innermost islands who have long waited for these vital services. This is in line with the United Nations holistic approach to achieving sustainable development for all. It is a vision supported by our commitment to lead in the maritime modernization drive of the country. FASCAT wants the Philippines to be celebrated for putting safety and efficiency at the forefront, not only by investing in brand new and innovative vessels, but also by offering world-class onboard services. This is why FastCat's crew is constantly exposed to and updated with the latest technology and innovations through onboard trainings, e-learning modules, and virtual reality ship familiarization programs. This enables them to render services with utmost confidence and professionalism. FastCat not only aims to elevate the safety standards and overall travel experience of the Filipinos, but greatly contribute to the education of the Filipino seafarers through FastCat's cadetship program. As a corporate citizen, FastCat recognizes the need to preserve and protect the marine environment. Therefore, FastCat promotes responsible waste management, uses renewable energy, and initiates corporate social responsibility programs. It is a vision that is strengthened by partnerships, 
Together with bus liners, Jam and Filtranco, Port and Terminal Operator and Manager Philports, Cargo Service Organization Quick Reliable Services, and Hotel Chain by the Sea Hotels, FastCat cements its position as a comprehensive travel solutions company. As a pioneer in modernizing the maritime industry, FastCat takes part in boosting the national economy by safely and efficiently transporting rolling cargoes, products, and passengers. We also promote trade among neighboring islands and help local farmers and producers through the sale and promotion of their products in our areas of operation. This endeavor is to raise the bar and encourage others to emulate so every Filipino may enjoy the full benefit of a modern and sustainable maritime industry. FastCat continues to take steps towards progress and collaborative nation building, forging on until no island is left behind. One nation, one people, one vision for a ferry-connected Philippines.